I literally cannot stay in rain. Like, I'm, I'm thinking about moving to the desert. I'm, I'm not even kidding at this point. So, make myself feel a little better. It's been about a month since I started it. I think uh, it's a good opportunity to uh, see if it still runs. <laughs> It's still raining, which sucks. Well, aside from Mother Nature quite literally raining on our parade here, the grill is finished. I now think it's time to put the bow tie in and put this baby back on the old bald eagle machine. And by bald eagle machine, I mean that's what comes out of these two three-inch straight pipes. This is America. Get some. Throw up your rock fist if you're feeling it when I drop this. Show them how we blow this pop. Let's make it hot. The shotgun with the body rock. So the party stops. It's time to take it up a notch. And keep it locked for all the headbangers in the parking lot. Here we come. Well, it is done. I like it. I like, uh, I actually had done this in gloss black. And, uh, that was a bad move with the, the hood and the bumper. Because it's bed liner. And the gloss just didn't look that good. So me and Barry stayed down here and, uh, sanded it back down and, Painted it flat black, and I think with like the light bar and stuff, it really looks like one of them trophy trucks, man. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So that is the outside for the most part, other than the frame, which is going to take forever. Uh, but other than that, I'm pretty much done with the outside. Now all I have to do is uh, the inside stuff, which is going to suck even worse. So something else I'm seriously considering is the halo lights, which outline the uh, the headlights. To, and I want it in red, but it also does my light bar. I don't know who the hell was sitting in this seat. So I want to do that, and then Leighton Hoke was asking me about the inside of it. What Leighton was referring to was my fighter pilot interior that the lights would go good with. And I wanted to show you, because I'm getting ready to take it apart, might I add that my dad's favorite part is the uh, fighter pilot interior. He loves that part. It's the best part of the whole thing. And something else has come to my attention is that I have not fixed that passenger side door, and I am now stuck in here until I figure out how to deal with this situation. All right, so some people have seen the pictures of what this looks like at night, the way I did my LEDs and my gauge cluster. But here's how some of that stuff works, if it'll start. Yeah! So, basically, over here, you got uh, GPS, because speedometer's off, so you have to use this for my speed, I just, I have a hard time figuring out how to calibrate the speedometer. Um, I don't know if the radio will turn on where it's been dead. Uh, the missile switches, the, this one is for the fog lights, it runs those. This one is for the air compressor that, uh, pumps extra air into the supercharger when it's changing gears. I'm just, but this one here does all the lights, all my LED lights I have. So those do, that does my lights, fog lights air compressor but that i really do have an air compressor that goes to the uh, train horn in the toolbox i have the uh, red led back there on the floor my gauge cluster and under the hood and also on the other side um <laughs> so my radio refuses to work uh my chip which i don't know how i've made it without it because it's i've had too many things pop up that this thing's answered a lot of questions for me but that's really about the inside. I'm literally going to gut everything, and the dash will be out. I'm going to redo all the wiring, have it all in box, a nice fuse box. Now, it should look pretty good when it's done. I'm going to try to touch up the uh, red stuff. Like, I did these, and now these need it too. I didn't get a chance to do those when I had done those. So we'll get that fixed, and uh, this baby should be ready to roll here shortly. Oh, so most of the cool stuff is over with now. So, I mean, really all I got left on the outside is... You know, paint the frame, and that's really just about it. That's the rest of the stuff's inside, which is going to be extremely boring as far as that's just a lot of wiring to go through. I'm actually going to rebuild my own harness to run every accessory I got that's light bar, train horn, all that stuff. So it'll all be in one spot, and it'll make it easier to uh, track down problems and work on, hopefully. Hope you guys like it. This is what I got so far. I'll see you guys next time. One other thing I wanted to add was my dad is going to be so proud of me that I'm adding more buttons and switches to it. He's going to love that.